Hello, and welcome to A VO's Journey. My name is Anthony Pika. This show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business, sidestep all the crazy things that I seem to step on. Happy Tuesday. It is July 13th. Super excited to be coming to you. I've got a great episode today. Today, we're going to be talking about how many audiobook auditions should you be doing specifically a day in order to get work? This is so important, and I found that the people who do this, all right, they get work, and the people who don't do this end up not getting the type of uh, consistency they would like. Uh, now, real quick, before we start, I'm super excited to announce I just finished and launched my new uh, How to Make Money Narrating Audiobooks uh, course, and there'll be a link below that you can check that out, as well as going to my site, aviosjourney.com, uh, to dive into making money in audiobooks. Uh, definitely uh, put a lot of effort into the course. I know it's going to be worth it. It's over 10 different instructional videos, everywhere from getting business to voice acting for audiobooks to your resume to rate sheets and guides for prices and all that stuff. So I know you're really going to love it. So make sure you check that out. All right. So let's dive into auditioning. How many audiobook auditions should you do a day? All right. The key here is to remember that as a performer, you are going to be auditioning for all types of books that you fit into a overall category, right? But the authors or the hiring directors, whoever is casting for the audiobook, they've got a certain idea in their mind what exactly they're looking for, what exactly pitch of the voice, the tone. Um, sometimes they will get it right. Very little they will get it right when they're writing down, you know, the directions of, of the audition they're looking for. But a lot of times you don't get any directions. You just get, hey, you know, we're looking for a uh, male, you know, uh, from 30s to 40s and, you know, with an American accent. You know what I mean? Like That's not much to go off of. <laughs> so, you know, you have to just bring who you are or what you, you know, your acting choices to the book. The reason why I'm, I'm going this route before I, I tell you exactly how many you should do is because you have to understand that when you're auditioning, no matter what you do, you could be the best audiobook narrator in the world. There are going to be books or audiobooks that you are just not going to get the work for. Not because you suck, not because you're not good at narrating, not because you're not doing the right thing. But because the people who are casting, they might not be looking exactly for your type of voice or delivery style. But the positive thing is there are people out there who are. So this is where we get into how many auditions you should be doing a day, uh, a week, a month, a year. This boils down to a numbers game. I remember when I was perform or when I was doing professional acting, I was performing. The job, the, the the joke, but the reality of, of actors, stage actors, TV film actors, actors, performers in general, musicians, whatever, um, is that you your job is actually to audition. Getting the work, right, that's your goal, but the job itself, because getting the work was the fun part, right? Actually performing, getting paid, doing the job. But the work part was the day in and day out, week after week after week, doing auditions, auditioning, auditioning, auditioning. Now, uh, I'm a big believer in, you know, making sure that, you know, you focus on the right thing at the right time. So especially if you're just starting out or you're trying to jumpstart your business, the best number I have found that you should be working on auditioning a day, all right, is between seven to 10 auditions a day. Okay, now wait a minute. Before you take off and you'll be like, oh, Anthony, what the heck, man? There's no way I do seven or 10 a day. All right. Here's the deal. It's important that you also practice making your auditions take less time for you to finish them. I'm going to give you the number of how long it should be. It should only take you five to 10 minutes to submit an audition. That means you might ask, okay, how long should it be? This is how long it should be, your audition should be. Even if they give you the entire book, all right, in PDF, or they give you, you know, 
15 pages, okay? You should only be sending a one to one and a half to two minutes max audition piece. It should not be more unless they come back to you and ask you for more because they're interested in you, all right? Then you're willing to do more, okay? But the reality is, is you don't need to do more than that, okay? Unless specifically stated, that should be what it is, okay? Now, here's the thing. Because that's the time you should spend, you should not be spending more than five to 10 minutes, okay? Once you get started, when you're recording, you're editing, you're formatting, you're submitting, moving on to the next one. This is a straight up numbers game. Seven to 10 a day, all right? Depending on whether you work five days out of the week or seven days out of the week, okay? If you're doing seven, that's 35 auditions a week, all right? And that's 140 auditions a month if you're doing five days a week. Out of that, you should be getting one to two book offers every 12 to 15 auditions. It could be less, it could be a little bit more, but it always seems to go around that 12 to 15 auditions, okay? If you're not reaching that number, that's okay. It could be that, you know, you're more stylized or you've got to do some work. Now, those numbers are based on the people I've coached, my own experiences over years of doing audiobooks, okay? But those are good numbers to live by. But in the end, if you're auditioning seven to 10 times a day for audiobooks, you are going to get work. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take a moment to hit the like and subscribe button and then hit that notification bell so that you can know when I put out a video or go live. Also, don't forget the new uh, course I just released, uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, how to make money narr narrating audiobooks. I'm super excited about it. There'll be a link below as well as at avioasjourney.com. Thank you guys so much. You have a good one. Talk to you later. Goodbye.